Hello everyone, in this video I will investigate the effects of overclocking your device. The only effect of overclocking your device that we can see numerically, quantitatively is from quadrant scores and everybody knows that um, quadrant scores doesn't really translate very well to user <clears throat> to the user experience. So here I will demonstrate the differences after overclocking. First, we'll take a look at my um, CPU frequency right now, and it's 800 megahertz. Okay, and the governor is on demand, and I'll leave it as so. Now, let's look at browser. I've preloaded phone.com. And you can see this web page is full of flash content right here at the site and up here at the site and and bottom here. As you can see the scrolling is like so like it's not very responsive. There's a lot of resistance to the whole scrolling mechanism. Let's try zooming in. The resistance is there as well. As you can see, after zooming all the way in, the scrolling is better, but that's only because there's less content to move. Okay, that will be <coughs> at 800 megahertz. Now let's take a look at what will happen if I overclock it to 1.4, 1.5 on demand. And as you can see, the scrolling is met with less resistance. But it's still choppy at best. Another aspect that you can see noticeable differences is when you are playing games. I'll put this back to 800 megahertz, and we shall look at FPS. -E. And we will look at Tekken. I have enabled the FPS counter at the top here, so this is at 800 megahertz. So far so good, let's get to the gameplay. As 
you can see when the characters are moving, it hovers around 30. Now it's getting to 30. Drops all the way down to 23 just now. So, as you can see, if I'm playing an emulator, it hovers around 30, 30 something. Now let's completely quit the emulator and bring it up to 1.4 or 1.5. We will launch the same game. I'll choose the same character again. Now noticeably you can see the characters are moving with more fluidity. As you can see it went all the way up to 60, hovers around 58, 59. Hit. Oh yeah. Okay, so that's about it for the FPSC, and we can see that the effects of uh, <clears throat> overclocking your device. Now, just for since um, not everyone overclocks their phone all the way to 1.5. Let's take a look and see if an intermediate overclock is going to yield us any good performance on the emulator. Let's say This time it hovers around 50. Around 50, 51. Then uh, web browsing on 1.1 gigahertz.
this is still better than the stock 800 megahertz so that's all for the video this time thanks for watching